I'm Susie Girton, guest host for Pacifica Currents, and I'm sitting in for Edie Hovermel. We're here today with Ed Lopez, teacher at the Wilderness School, and a couple of his instructors, student instructors. Um, later on, we'll be talking to Siva Steele, who is an eighth grade teacher at Ocean Shore School, and one of her students, Trent Tansy, um, who have actually gone through the ropes course that you run. <laughs> so, Ed, um, I'd like to know, could you start out just with a little bit of history um, about the ropes course? Well, um, the Wilderness School has been involved in ropes courses and ropes course instructing since about 1975. We, our first ropes course was down in La Honda, California, down at Camp Jones Gulch. And um, about 10, 12 years ago, we decided we wanted something a little bit closer. So we decided, to, with the great cooperation of San Mateo County Parks, to put um, a ropes course up on San Bruno Mountain. And so we've been operating a ropes course up there for the last 10 years. Could you describe some of the um, kinds of challenges? Um, it sounds like they're both mental and physical challenges that you present the yeah, for, participants. You know, the way the ropes course is set up, it's, um, it's graduated events. We start really with basic challenges, introducing yourself, you know, just getting to know the group. And then we work through uh, various exercises uh, where they're just starting to work with each other more and more until, you know, we get off the ground a little bit and we do a thing called a trust fall where they fall into, into their um, teammates' arms and then eventually we'll go a little bit higher off the ground and it'll culminate in, you know, at the, towards the, in the afternoon, jumping out of a tree about 40 feet off the ground. Wow. And so, but everything, we have, everything works upon the previous exercise, so they, they, they gain from the previous experience. So it's, um, a lot of it is, you know, mentally, you know, challenging. Could you tell us a little bit uh, about where you find your student instructors and um, who, who are the young men that you brought with you? Well, this is Marcus and Roy, and Marcus is from Daly City and Roy's from Pacifica. And they are, they're part of the Jefferson Union High School District, and they've, um, they've, been ref they've come to the program. Our, our, our program is part of the Jefferson Union High School District, and they come to the program from the various high schools here in Pacifica and Daly City. Okay. Yes. So guys, would you like to tell us a little bit um, about yourselves and your experience with the Wilderness School? Um, well, my name is Marcus um, with the Wilderness School. And uh, the Wilderness, it's great, the ropes course. Um, like, I learned how to lead, how to like, um, like set, set the goals and the standards, but in a fun way. And um, it's really great, and I love to do it. Is this part of your coursework um, through the high school? Are you doing this for credit or? Um, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> okay. Do you want to tell us a little this, bit about this, how, do you recruit well, this boys is, or? Well, this, um, the, the ropes course is part of the curriculum of the Wilderness School. Okay. And the Wilderness School is um, a chance for these kids to take time off from the regular high school curriculum and reorient themselves so they could have a different experience through high school. First, because truthfully speaking, some of these kids have a difficult time in high school. So this is a chance for them to reorient, correct, and get on with their education. And one of the things that we do is we start off with a 10-day backpacking trip, and all the students participate in that. And then after that, we come back as a cohesive team. And from there, we build on a variety of different projects and one of the projects that we do is um, ropes course. And I think it's really important to mention that our clients who come to the ropes course, their instructors are students from their community. Really, really important because one of the, um, one of our tenets in, edu in the education and the curriculum of the ropes course is th this idea of kids teaching kids. Really, it's really highly effective. Um, Another thing to mention is that we're self-funded. So we, you know, everything that we do, I mean, all the clients, they pay, they pay us to come to the ropes course and everything we do is money raised by the students through the ropes course and other activities. So for like the materials, the helmets and the rope and the harnesses that you see right here, this is not given to us by the school district. The kids raise the money to purchase the equipment. And so there is a, um, there is a level of responsibility that these guys get, these young women and young men get, in that 
they, they feel it's important that they have to give back to what's been given to them from previous generations of wilderness school students. And we've been, you know, like I said, we've been around since 1967. And so, okay. so that's kind of, you know, and, and through all of this, they do earn, they're able to earn credits, high school credits towards a diploma. Okay, that's great. So Roy, how long have you been with the wilderness school? Um, I've been with the wilderness school for three semesters now. Three, okay. Mm -hmm. And have you been leading lots of groups? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the ropes course lead a lot of groups. You know, sometimes I like barbecue and stuff. Barbecue for big groups, stuff like that. And uh, yeah. So, Ed, you told us a little bit about the um, the backpacking that you yes. start with. But guys, have you taken on all these challenges mm -hmm. that you're taking these younger kids yeah. through? Mm -hmm. Which was the scariest? The scariest for me. It was probably um, the giant's ladder, and it's basically this big, huge ladder, and has like um, it's like five logs, and they're each probably about five feet from each other, and it's just on like a cable, and you and like another person have to try help each other get all the way to the top. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It was pretty scary. Okay. Yeah. Did you get all the way over? Mm-hmm. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Excellent. And how about you, Marcus? Um, Which is the most challenging one for you? The most challenging one is, um, oh man, it's like, uh, oh, the name just slipped my mind. I'm sorry, but it's, um, it's like you got to climb and you have to jump and grab this little circle. It's in the middle of the air, and it's like, I believe it's, it's pretty. It's called the totem pole. The totem pole. No, it's, it's called the totem pole and. It's uh, it's really challenging because you get up there and then like like it's real hard to get up because like the gravity and stuff and like you're kind of scared because when I did it I was real nervous and like you they just tell you to jump and you're like I don't want to jump but you know you got to and then you got to grab it so that's pretty challenging. So it sounds like there's some pretty dramatic heights and. Um I don't know, climbing, throwing logs around. <laughs> this sounds a little bit dangerous. How do you ensure the safety of your participants? Through their training. The um, safety is number one. And um, we, that's the, when we first start the training for these kids, um, right after we come back from our backpacking trip, that's instilled upon them. These, these, these kids know that, you know, one mistake and it can be over, you know, and um, people can get hurt. But, we have a very, very good safety record, and um, it's just constant training, training, training. After each day, after each um, section of the ropes course, we'll have a debrief session where if there was any close calls or if anything to happen, we would go through that and debrief the events and review what could have made it better, made it safer. So it's always constant, constant improvement. And also the way that the system is set up in, on the ropes course is that we do everything that we can to, to ensure safety through redundancy, redundancy uh, safety features throughout the course. So, so you brought things like the harnesses, harnesses and, and things ropes like that. Yeah. and things like that. So and all these things again, it's um, these are all they're they're changed out every every so many years. That we'll get a new set of ropes, new harnesses, new helmets, just to make sure that we have you know the highest standard of safety.